Hello, guys, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen, when the film adaptation of any novel finds many more admirers, unlike the original. Here are 10 of the best movies that have outstandingly surpassed their forefathers and breathed new life into famous stories. You are on the Movie Tops channel, the best of movies and TV shows. Manhunter, Hannibal Lecter, the infamous serial killer, appears in this crime thriller, based on the novel by Thomas Harris, Red Dragon, for the first time. An FBI agent is forced to resort to the help of a maniac imprisoned in a mental hospital in order to truly penetrate his inner world to find a dangerous criminal. Much less known than Silence of the Lambs, this film surpasses it in many ways, as director Michael Mann reveals the hideous creations of a twisted psyche's mind with elegance and chilling detachment. This is what the subject's teeth look like. Seen blood on the moon like that? William, you're gonna make yourself sick or get yourself killed. The Devil Wears Prada, dreaming of becoming a real journalist, a provincial girl Andy, after graduating from university, unexpectedly gets a job as an assistant to the all powerful Miranda Priestley, despotic editor of one of the largest New York fashion magazines. Directed by David Frankel, with gorgeous Meryl Streep and the incredible Anne Hathaway in the lead roles, this movie about New York fashion battles is a real cult hit. The stunning success of the picture stands in contrast to the more than unremarkable memoirs of Lauren Weisberger, who really worked as an assistant editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine. Oh, well, good morning, Miranda. Let me Isaac. I don't see my breakfast here or my eggs here. Where are my eggs? Pick up the Polaroids from the lingerie shirt. Have the brakes checked on my car. Where's that piece of paper I had in my hand yesterday morning? Girls need new surfboards or boogie boards or something for spring break. Pick up my shoes from Blahnik and then go get Patricia. Who's that? Get me that little table that I like at that store on that. Get us a reservation for dinner tonight at that place. Get me a good review of my Thank you, notes delivered today. Where is everyone? Why is no one? American Psycho. During the day, this well-bred citizen is unremarkable, but at night he turns into a sophisticated killer who terrorizes the entire city. Christian Bale played here in all his terrible beauty, using the sizzling flame of his hatred, which grows with each new crime, as his resource. Unlike the satirical novel of the same name by Brett Easton Ellis, which details how a New York investment banker tortures and kills everyone from girls and competitors to dogs and rats, the film focuses more on the personality of the protagonist Patrick Bateman, which is painted in all colors and literally materializes in front of the viewer. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in spite of the fact that this novel by Douglas Adams, published in 1979 became a bestseller, it was even more successfully filmed 25 years later by Garth Jennings, when the computer effects of that time really made it possible to embody a spectacular visual range. The general intensity of the movie surpassed even what was described in the book. One day, huge spaceships of aliens hung over the Earth, and people were announced that their home planet was to be demolished, and a chic interstellar highway would be laid in its place. While an old friend and drinking buddy of an ordinary guy named Arthur Dent suddenly turns out to be an alien. What the hell are those things? Attention, people of Earth. I regret to inform you that in order to make way for the new hyperspace express route, your planet has been scheduled for demolition. Have a nice day. Hang on, we're hitching a ride. this thing? It's the guide. It's got everything you need to know to survive in the universe. What's that? What the hell are you doing here? Arthur, this is Zaphod Babelbrox, president of the galaxy. He shares three of the same mothers as me. 
avoided for a number of years. I have been avoiding you. I... You look great. You're doing well. You've grown. The Princess Bride. William Goldman's book, The Princess Bride, seems overwhelming for the reader by its construction, but the author wrote the script for the film of the same name, which was directed by Rob Reiner who invited to play the main characters unbelievably handsome Carrie Elwes and young and fresh Robin Wright. The story of how a brave hero saves his beloved from bandits and pirates turned out to be a delightful and inventive postmodern tale that mixes intellectual dashing, romance and comedy. The film was included in the top 100 funniest films on Bravo TV, as well as in the top 250 best IMDb films. Welcome to the fantastic world of beautiful castles, creepy dungeons, endless oceans, forests and mountains. I don't think they exist. Oh! I will always come for you. How can you be sure? This is true love. Hold it, hold it. Is this a kissing book? Are you kidding? Fencing, fighting, torture, revenge. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. Sweet. There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool! Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line! <laughs> No Country for Old Men. Cormac McCarthy's book is a dark and funny description of a mind flow too hard to adapt for a screen but Ethan Cohen and Joel Cohen managed to extract a cinematic gold from it. The outstanding depiction of characters by Tommy Lee Jones, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem and Woody Harrelson definitely helped this, but the outstanding result is due to the genius of the two masters who assembled the criminal mosaic into a stunning epic. A hard worker finds a mountain of corpses in the desert, a truck full of heroin and two million dollars. He embezzles the money, and as a result provokes an incredible wave of violence that the entire West Texas police force cannot stop. What's this about? I need you to step out of the car, sir. What you got ain't nothing new. What is that for? Would you, would you hold still, please, sir? This country's hard on people. Can't stop what's coming. Jaws. Jaws is an example of how a 1974 goofy book written by Peter Benchley, a year later turned into a stunning blockbuster by the talents of Steven Spielberg, which became the standard for creating memorable thrillers and horror films. Following the precepts of Hitchcock, at the beginning the maestro does not show evil, but with the help of suspense in the finale he provoces an incredible adrenaline rush from the viewer. It all starts when the police find the remains of a girl who was the victim of a shark in a quiet, sunny resort town on Amity Island. The number of victims continues to increase every day. Will it be possible to neutralize the man-eating shark? There is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic, it lives to kill. A mindless eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil and gave him joy. Fight Club. The original source of this film is the novel of the same name by Chuck Palahniuk, which frankly speaking is a cheap pulp fiction speculating on hot social topics. However, David Fincher's masterpiece with Edward Norton and Brad Pitt turned this banal story into a whole generational manifesto, hypnotic and forever etched in memory. The office plankton specimen suffers from chronic insomnia and is desperately trying to break free from his excruciatingly boring life. One day he meets a certain Tyler Durden, a charming soap merchant who is sure that self-improvement is for the weak, and the only thing worth living for is self-destruction. I was stuck. You want me to deprioritize my current reports yeah. until you advise of a status upgrade? Make these your primary action items. I couldn't sleep. No, you can't die from insomnia. I'd flip through catalogs and wonder, what kind of dining set defines me as a person? This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. Welcome! I prayed for a different life. Soap. I make and I sell soap. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. Oh. Ow! You hit me in the ear! 
This is too much. In the end, you will thank me. Whoa! Whoa! If you could fight anyone, who would you fight? The Shawshank Redemption. Despite the fact that the book was written by Stephen King, it cannot be called his best novel, because the events there are described rather superficially. However, Frank Darabont's movie with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman has been leading the audience and critics' rating charts on many movie platforms for several decades. Here, despite the emotions and feelings of the unjustly condemned Andy Dufresne, he demonstrates strength and will, which are true examples of real courage. Everyone who gets into the Shawshank prison becomes a slave for the rest of his life, but not the main character, who eventually finds a way out. The Shawshank Redemption is a truly uplifting prison drama with fine direction and great acting. The power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. One for each of your victims. So be it. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. That's damn right. The Godfather. Yes, Mario Puzo's novel is good, but not as brilliant as the work of Francis Ford Coppola starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino. It was film adaptation that gave the world some of the most significant images in cinema and became the quintessence of 20th century Hollywood. This is a crime saga that tells the story of the Corleone, New York Sicilian Mafia family. The Godfather is one of Hollywood's greatest successes, both in terms of critics and audiences. This tape not only exceeded expectations, but set new benchmarks for American cinema. Now you come to me and you say, I'm Corleone and give me justice. You come into my house and you ask me to murder me. I ask you for justice. That is not justice. None of the other families won't sit still for They can't hand me so large. The father would want to hear this. This is business, not personal. They shot my father as business. Even the so shooting of your father was business, not personal. You know my father, men are coming here to kill him. Thanks for watching this video guys. Please like it and subscribe to the Movie Tops channel, the best movies and TV shows. All the best to you and see you next time.